Hey guys, Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland, just outside of Seattle here in the Great Pacific Northwest, taking a look at a car we just took in a trade, a 2008 BMW 535i. So a very popular car, a very wonderful car, but there's two things going with this car. On the one hand, it's a great trade-in with just 33,000 miles that has all kinds of options. And on the other hand, it has a bump on the Carfax saying that it was in a former accident. So I want to learn a little bit about this car, but I also want to learn where that accident was. And so we hear our story from the customer, but we always take the story with a grain of salt. We like to see things with our own eyes, and when we see things with our own eyes, we have a much clearer idea of exactly what's going on that we can share our professional opinion with you. And so this car, again, has just 33,000 miles, so fantastic low miles for a 2008. And then, of course, the 535i features all the superlatives in the world. It's uh, one of the, the timeless cars of its generation. It's uh, uh, the state of the art. It's the best in class. It's the, every single review that you read says the same thing. It's just about as close to perfect as a car could be. It's 300 horsepower, which may not sound like a lot compared to, say, our Infiniti G-Series sedan, which has 328. But let me tell you, it's just faster than the 328 horsepower G. In fact, it's faster than BMW's own V8 uh, 550i that has a six-speed manual transmission. This car with an automatic is faster than that, and it gets wonderful economy, 26 miles per gallon on the freeway, but it really is fast. It's not quick, it's not speedy, it's not anything like that. It's flat out fast. Everywhere you go, every gear you're in, it's fast. It's a really wonderful car to drive if you like cars that are fast, and I like cars that are fast. Let's pop the hood, let's see how uh, BMW achieves such brisk performance. And we're also gonna take a look and see if uh, that accident that we spoke of was in the front of the car. The BMW logo in the front, for those of you who don't know, why they have this uh, white and blue uh, character in the front. It's actually a propeller. BMW got their start as, a, uh, as an airplane company, not as a car company. Inside, that same propeller is on top of their 3.0 liter V6, our inline six twin turbo motor. Again, it pumps out 300 horsepower, but it does it in such a silky smooth way, such a linear way. There's zero turbo lag of any kind and uh, it's a real deep, uh, torquey kind of uh, power that just, it's right on point from the word go. Now, if I'm gonna look here, the one thing I always wanna look at when we're talking about cars that have been in an accident, whether reported or otherwise, we always wanna make sure we do the one thing, and that's just to feel this arc right here. And why do we feel that arc right there? Well, when a car is new, they've yet to put the engine in it, or the dashboard, or the windshield, or anything, and so you can hit it with paint everywhere at the same time. So that paint will make its way all the way around the arc in the back of the hood area here. And so you won't notice any kind of deviation from the top of the hood to the bottom of the hood. It'll have the exact same amount of paint. When a car's been in an accident and say I wanna repaint the hood, but I don't wanna repaint what's called the A pillar or the roof or anything like that, I'll paint, I'll paper everything off that I don't wanna get painted and then I'll paint from top to bottom. And so when I paint from top to bottom, that's great and it covers the area that I need, but it won't make its way all the way around this arc. Physics won't allow for that. And so I'll feel a definitive paint line or just some chatter, some rough edges or anything like that. Now a car that's perfectly smooth might still have been in an accident, but one that's rough, it's definitely been in an accident. This one looks smooth. Now inside the engine compartment, it doesn't matter if it's BMW or Bentley or Hyundai, everybody does the same thing. They always have shiny clear coat on the exterior and dull what's called matte finish paint on the interior. And so a, a car manufacturer can do this just by having two robots working side by side that are one's having one paint process on the panel and one's having another paint process on the interior. Well, at Bob's Body Shop, they don't have two robots, they just have Bob. And so Bob's gonna take the fender off and just paint the whole fender and so you'll see shiny on the outside and shiny on the inside. Shiny on the inside equals car accident. There's no other way around it. So when we see it looks completely dull on the interior, we like completely dull on the interior because that's how it's supposed to look. Now, this fender can be shiny and it'll indicate that the fender's been replaced, but if this area inside here, the actual structure of the engine compartment, if that's shiny, this car is in, in a terrible state and should probably have been declared a total loss. It's just something, as soon as you pop a hood, that's what we're looking for in the car business. 
Now the second thing that we're looking for are these screws. Because there's no clear coat on the interior of the fender, this being the fender, these screws that hold the fender to the chassis should be just as dull as the interior of the fender. And because there's so little paint on them, if they've ever been touched with a wrench, they'll have kind of chattered edges. So whenever you see chattered edges on any of these screws, you know the car's been in an accident. There's no other way around it. Or if they've been touched up, that means they've been screwed back in and repainted. Again, dead giveaway. But these look completely original, boring, just how we like it. If I go up here on the hood and I look at the same screws, they look just the same as, so every single screw here is completely original. So I know wherever the accident was, it wasn't here. Now, always on BMWs, they like to tell you in German what the name of the color is. And so the, it says space gray, space ground metallic. And so the, uh, that's the name of this, this particular exterior color. But again, if it's missing the sticker, you know it's on every BMW, you know that part's been replaced. Here, we look at the same screws that we looked on the other side. Everything's completely original. So I can call this one pretty easily. Whatever happened to this car did not happen to the front of the car. So we'll take a look around. Now taking a look at the car itself, it looks great. There's no scratches or door dings or anything like that. This car, uh, the second owner purchased this car as BMW certified. It's actually under its BMW certified warranty through August. Although that's not a long time, it's a lot of confidence to know that this car is just under warranty from BMW, period. It doesn't matter if it's for a day. If there's something going on, you know you can get it taken care of free of charge. The wheels look excellent with no curb rash or anything like that. The tires look excellent. They look excellent in the back as well. And the wheels not curved in the back as well. Let's take a look at in the interior. Now this car is a sports package. You can tell by the, the bolstering on the front of the seats and on the sides, a little bit more aggressive, plus a three-spoke steering wheel with all hands-free control, and then 20-way multifunction driver's seat. So uh, 20 different ways to uh, relax and recline while you're driving down the road. Interior looks quite nice. Automatic transmission, wood interior, looks great, actually. Back seat, again, looks exceptional. Nowhere of any kind. So we're just gonna continue on our way to the back. Now, I know that something's happened to this car. The previous owner told me that something happened to this car. But if I didn't know, I'm glad I have done this for a long time because this would be an easy car for me to make a mistake on because the work that was done on this car was done really, really well. And so if I'm feeling all these lines, just like I always do, they feel really good. Not perfect, but really good. And so they feel so close to how this car was stock, I could very easily mistake this for being original paint. But I know it's not original paint, and I can feel just a hint of a paint line here that's been buffed really, really well, and I know that this trunk lid has been painted. There's just no other way around it. The other thing is, if I look at, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see something so small as this, but there's a weld right here that holds this section of the trunk to the interior of the fender on the driver's side. And so this little brush of a weld, you never know exactly how a manufacturer is gonna weld a car together. It could have combinations of seam welding, spot welding, brush welding, all kinds of different things that hold the parts and pieces together in the way the manufacturer thinks is best. But one thing you know is that cars are made by robots and not people. So whatever it is on one side of the car, even if it looks kind of cockamamie, it might have intentionally been done that way. Just go to the other side of the car and it needs to look exactly the same way. If it looks different in any way, shape, or form, it's because it was done by a human being the second time around. And so this weld looks has this kind of configuration and this, well, there's no weld at all right here. And so the weld is probably underneath this plastic. So it's a weld that I'm sure it's a perfectly good weld. It's just different than the weld on the, that side over there. Also, if I look really, really, really close, I can see that there's just a little touch of gray paint on this piece of rubber right here. And that little touch of gray paint is a dead giveaway that this has been painted. The exterior has been painted. Now it's been painted with the rubber on the car, so that's a good thing. So it wasn't like some kind of total loss. It's just 
the car was banged up in some capacity, whether they had to put a new fender on it, a new bumper cover, they just repainted what was already there. That much I don't know quite yet, but I do know that it's been painted right here with the rubber on the car, and I do know that this trunk lid has been repainted as well. And so as I go around the car, although everything looks excellent, I can see just a little bit of what's called a fisheye. A fisheye, and there's just gonna be no way this is gonna get caught on camera, but I can show you certainly in person. A fisheye is, if you can imagine, when the car is at the manufacturer, it's being painted by guys who are wearing space suits and ionized chambers and all this sort of thing. And so the, there's no particles, there's no debris, there's no nothing like that. But at an actual shop shop, even a real spendy salon that does uh, quality paint work, there's just going to be dust, there's going to be human hair, there's going to be just material in the air that lands on the car. And so when they paint it, that paint will go over that piece of lint or what have you and leave what's called a fisheye. And so that fisheye will be a little minuscule blister that to me is a dead giveaway that a car has been painted. And so I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that what happened to this car is that it was struck from the rear and that paintwork had to be done from here to the trunk lid. And then I also know that one of the two tail lights was replaced and I can't tell you exactly which one. The reason is, is that the tail light the lettering on the left tail light is vivid, to say the least. Where the lettering from BMW, and these are both BMW headlights, or tail lights, excuse me, the lettering on the right side is dull. And so it doesn't mean one's new and the other's old just because the lettering looks more vivid on one side than the other. This could have been in a stock shelf somewhere underneath the bright light and not been on a car and been made dull. So don't assume just because something looks more vivid than the other that that's the new one versus the old one. That's not necessarily the case. In fact, I think in this case it's not the case. I think this is actually the replaced taillight even though it looks like the older of the two by the lettering. And so something happened to the back of this car. It doesn't look like it's uh, the end of the world by a wide stretch, but whatever it was caused it to go to a body shop and caused the rear quarter of the car to have to be repainted. Now, if I look at the fit and finish of the elements, just for example, me closing the trunk right there, it seems great. If I feel the fit and finish of the door, it seems great. If I look at the interior itself, nothing's leaking or anything like that. It's completely normal. This is exactly what I would expect of any BMW with 33,000 miles. And then again, just for the car on a whole, the wheels look great, the tires look great, the tinted windows look great. Let's take a look inside. see how it sounds. Now the sports package again also has those leg extensions right here that I told you, which are nice for a long ride or for taller drivers. You can really kind of stretch out and it puts a lot more comfort underneath your legs and it makes for a more stress-free uh, driving experience. Cruise control, sports steering wheel, all hands-free, navigation. This car is very, very well equipped. It's a premium package, a sports package, a navigation package, on and on. Cold weather with heated seats, you name it, this car has it. It smells nice, it looks nice, it has very low miles, and it's under bumper-to-bumper -bumper factory certified warranty. It's a car you want to take a look at firsthand. You want to see it with your own eyes. You want to make sure that everything that we're telling you is absolutely true. And if you still want extra confidence, just take it to the BMW dealer or take it to your own private mechanic. We have nothing to hide, of course. I mean, we're showing you in the video the exact nature of what we see. But if you want somebody else to describe the situation to you, we, again, have nothing to hide at all. Take it wherever you want to take it. You can take it to the BMW dealer. It doesn't matter to us. We believe in what we sell. If we can't believe in it, what's the point in selling it? I've been here for 10 years. Last year, I sold my 10,000th car in the Seattle marketplace. And so I only achieved that by being at least as reasonably reasonable as I possibly can with people complicated business, the used car business, there's lots of variables and dynamics that come into play. When we take in a car on trade, it's a unique experience unto itself. I try and share with you the best information I possibly can, but maybe there's information that you feel I'm holding back that you'd like more details on. Please, again, my name's Joe Tunney. I'm a sales manager at Infinity of Kirkland. Give me a call anytime if you'd like any kind of specific information, if you'd like me to take the car anywhere for you. Whatever you want, I'm here to say yes. My phone number is 425-821-1700.
800-500-6600. Or just drop me an email anytime at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.